Well, the nightmare continues. Yes, folks, my patron Nathan G says, Rudy, bring it back to tickle my nose. Because we are going back, folks. Iconic masters. Yes, I know. The time in which magic was dying, the sets were failing, negativity flourished. Like it was just 2001, a space odyssey. So here we are. There she is. The master sets that ruined lives, shut down card stores around the country, made distributors nervous, and broke the confidence of everybody. So without further ado, as we go back, folks, and the lion remains in place, my patron Nathan G, also known as NG, also known as Nathan has good hot dogs, says, Rudy, I, I like the Iconic Masters. I want you to open them for me. I'm only going to pay you $1,000 a box to do it, and we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. For him, $9.99 a piece. So, today is post-War of the Spark time. Uh, where are we? What is this, like mid-May? Starting off with Oblivion Stones in Your Pants with a nice big fat axe. There we go. You know, it's amazing how many of the card prices have recovered, stabilized, and actually been doing kind of pretty good. Things actually haven't been so bad. And uh, guess what? Oh, there's the Bob. I forgot Bobbles. In oh, wait. Is that even worth anything anymore? It was worth a few bucks. Ah, uh, Tefiri, the Teferi, Tatata, Mage with a nice wall. Ah, that's the funny thing. Box is pushing over 200 now. Expected value in the 190s. And nobody's... Oh, God, my vial is full of aether. And, golly, what a box. Holy smokes, what a start. God, mage of Tefiris, Teferis, Tatas, aether vial with a stone. Holy potato chips. And we got our first red dragon spirit. Ooh, a nice foil disenchant. That's always a nice good common to get. Always sells nicely for a buck or so. All night long. And, uh, yeah. So the set that ruined people's lives. Here we go. Hoarding dragon. That was a rare at M15. Rift, Bolt, Boros, and... Ah! Uh, swallowing. We got the Swallower. In this context, we don't want the Swallower. That's all I have to say because I don't want to get demonetized. All right, game! Okay. We got the ward. Here we go, folks. All right. Forge Tender, Lightning Helix, Illusor, and Kiki, Jiki, Kiki, Mirror, Kiki, Breaker with a Beast. First Mythic, nice $10. Is, is, wait, is it back? I know it's not back to like 20 30 It bottomed to like 5 I think it's back to maybe 10 It's stabilized pretty nice. I think this set's actually going to turn out to be some legendary thing. Curse of Predation with Draconite. That was a great Dragons of Tarkir card. Got downshifted too. I think this set is really going to be a really uh, funny, iconic way to age. Things. What is that corner? What is that? White tip. You guys see that? Is the card not cut? And Oh, the card isn't cut. <laughs> they never cut the card. Okay. All right. We got the Tide Star with a Selesnil. So we got two Dragon Spirits now. And yeah, I was like, that was kind of strange. You never know. But like I told everybody, and everybody's like, oh, look at Rudy, the Iconic Masters. Ah. Oh, God. Holy smokes, Nathan. This is a grisly spectacle. This is a heck of an Iconic Masters box. We haven't even gotten a Mana Drain. We haven't even gotten a Rising Canopy. But we are just wrecking this bad boy. And a Garbage Dragon with... Oh! That's our Foil Rare. Okay. Serum Powder. God, I forgot that card was even in the set. During the negativity, I couldn't even see it back in the day. Really? Okay. Foil Serum Powder. Those are Foil Rare. That's... Hey, it's no Horizon Canopy. But you know what? That's pretty, that's pretty spiffy. Yes, folks, I just used the word spiffy and there's nothing you can do about it. And, okay, Archangel of another $10 Mythic. Child of Rudy's Creepy of the 5th Dynasty. Two Mythics. Um, looks like we're going for the $10 Mythics here, huh? I don't know. I feel like something weird's going to happen with this. It might be this one or the next box, but I think we're going to get some shenanigans. Path of Bravery with a... Whoa, look at the foiling on that Ivy Elemental. It's enough to shake you up in the middle of the night. All right. Here we go. And Great Teachers, Mahamadi, and Sultan. Oh, hypersonic garbage. Hey, Mana Leak. Those always sell for a nice buck or two. 
See, I like getting those staple common cards in foil, because man, they are some of the easiest foil cards to sell, because they're cheap, everyone can afford it, people love those things, Day of the Dragons and a terrible pack. So that, I love getting commons like that, the foil ones, because man, a couple dollars all day long. Okay, here we go folks, Lore, Abzan, Palladian, and uh, Persecutor with a Survival, oh, terrible. Is that is that what people think I look like? I feel like that's what people look at me like on the internet. Well, this is, uh, did we run out of steam here? Um, okay. It's kind of a little let down there. All right, Electrocise, Thrawn Dynamo, and the River of Tears is not the... Oh! Foil Swords! That's, oh, probably the best uncommon you can get in foil, man. Swords to Plowshare. They've been printing that card since Alpha, and nobody cares. Everybody still wants it. And the God, the green star, really? Holy crap. And a dragon egg. That's th God, how come I, I think the last time we did Iconic Masters, we got all the... Didn't we get all the dragons again? I was like, didn't we get that? I swear, it's like we did that in another opening. And, really? <laughs> I was like, I feel like we're getting that on every one. The black evening star, which is actually the best one you can get, side note. And a monument from Dragons of Tarkir. So far, not a bad Iconic Masters box, folks. And uh, I told everybody for a long time, they weren't going to stay cheap. And the Lotus Cobra from original Zendikar with a construct from, I think that was Origins or Conspiracy. Eh, let's just say it's from Alpha. Just make everybody upset. All right, here we go. Bubbling. And look at that art. God, isn't that amazing? She's gorgeous. And Dragon. And we got a Fire Main Angel and a Shimmering Grotto. That's been reprinted a couple times. I know that was even in the Conspiracy reprint, too. It was reprinted in the, the, the 2000 set. was originally... Then it was in Conspiracy, and then this Master set. Oh! God! Oh! Woo! Stay calm. We are a real magic channel. We're sponsored by Love and Tacos. Horizon Canopy for the $60 hit! Oh, man, Nathan! Holy, just, God, Testicle Tuesdays, because today is Tuesday, folks. Or at least I'm supposed to... Oh! A, oh, my God, this is turning out to be a really good box! All right, Whispering One, the Black Predator. Holy crap. Yes, I call it Predator. I don't care. I'm going to call it Predator. Holy smokes. This is an epic box, man. And a giant beast from Rudy's Basement, Hunting the Weak. Last pack of box one. Not bad. Honestly, I get nervous opening a boxes like this because you just don't know how much of a... Oh my, what a way to end it. What an epic box one. Holy smokes, Nathan, congrats. You literally, congrats on turning a profit, man. Holy crap, for the price of these boxes, man, under 200 bucks. Dude, congratulations. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, wait, my bad. I mean, you paid $1,000 a box from scumbagrudy.com backslash forward nut kick face one eye in your pants. Sorry, don't want to lose the image. Don't want to lose the image. All right, moving forward, folks, box two. Starting off with the old Charm Breaker. Weren't you like reprinted three times? Look at that hunting pack. Look how beautiful that art is. Love some of those. Sometimes the foils just really pop. Other times the foils, it's like they don't do anything. But man, sometimes those foils, they just they hit you in the pantalones, man. They really shake you up. Rune Scar Demon M12 reprint that wasn't worth much for the longest time and it actually been creeping up now. That was like a buck or so for the longest time. I think it's like five bucks now. Shows you never know. You can't predict the future, folks. And another double tap in the cryptic. Look at those eyes. Double tap in the cryptic with a gigantic fist. You know, sometimes you open the mail and there's a gigantic fist. I'm not sure what you guys were thinking about. It's the Chuck Norris fist. That's the appropriate thing. And we are right to the white command. Nobody wants the white command. What? Really? Nobody wakes up and says, I wish I had a bird head. That says, says nobody ever. That's not what anybody thinks. All right, folks, moving on through box two here. And uh, box one, if we could just do the same thing. Ah, uh, Restoration Angel with an Aether. What is she doing? What is... That guy's toast. Hmm. Man, come on. Box two, just be equal to box one. That's all I ask. Holy crap, it was so good, man. And Blood Baron of Vizgapa. I think uh, Dragon's Maze was that? Was that a Dragon's Maze Mythic? That might have been a Dragon's Maze Mythic. No? Yes? What, was that a... I think that was a dragon. I was going to check real quick, but eh, not that big a deal. I swear that was a Dragon's Maze Mythic. Anyways. All right. Bubbling Viscopa Bor... Oh! God! 
oh, it's like just getting surprised. Like, you come home, and you don't even have to pay for the taco. It's just there waiting. Oh, dude. Holy Nathan, Horizon Canopy, man, you are just epic, bro. Holy smokes. It's amazing to think these boxes were selling for like 120, 130 range for the longest time. Ne oh my, I remember selling these to the patron. The lowest point was 119 a box, I think. <laughs> and that was 129, then 139, and then I was like, okay, we're done with it. Oh my, come on! Come on! Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? That That's me. Like, why? I'm deleting the video, and I'm keeping this. Are you serious? Are we kidding me right now? Double box. Look at this opening. Double cryptic command. Double flipping her. Oh, my. Look at these pools, you guys. This is just redonkulous. Holy smokes. Wow. I mean, wow. God, hypersonic, nobody cares. Heat ray! Yeah, I know. Did I put that in the right pile? Yeah, sorry. I don't know why I made an extra pile. It's like, what What am I doing with the piles? I don't know what's going on. It's like, why? Oh my god. I completely, I'm disoriented now. I don't even know how to finish the video. Alright, and the white shooting star with a gigantic scorpion. Unreal. Unbelievable. A double horizon with a mana drain with a double cryptic command. And another, a double tap on Kiki Jiki. Even a foil rift bolt. That's actually a really good foil uncommon. And folks, you can laugh all you want. That's why Iconic Masters is heading to over 200 now. Call it what you want, folks. Oh, I forgot Thoughtseize was even in the box! That, I, that's me. Flipping Thoughtseize now. Alright, so new game here. The patron Nathan says, hey guys, watch this. Hold my beer. I'm going to literally get every good card in the set so you all can <laughs> double tap Oblivion Stone. There's a nice fountain of money. Like, you hit a point in the video, it's like, okay, now you're just bragging, bro. Nathan, you're just showing off. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Oh my god! <laughs> Foil Ancestral Vision, and a $20 Blood Geist. Okay, this is just, this is just dumb at this point. Oh, come on! This is just stupid. This is just dumb. Third, $40, $30 Aether Vial, $20. This is just dumb. Come on. Don't, now, I'm, now you guys are just trolling me. This is a troll box at this point. Hey, look, a Hellkite. Nobody cares. Screaming Guy, Pressing sick. This is a troll box. This is like, this is dumb, man. Unbelievable. Swords and a Nimbus Maze. Why wouldn't it be a Nimbus Maze? Oh, that's not, that's, that's a couple of dollars. Not as bad as the uh, Rain of River of Tears, but not as good as the other one. What an opening. Like, really? Like, why are you not helping me? And just, hey, look, another $10 Black Evening Star. The uh, best dragon you can get, the black one there. Ridiculous, man. Unbelievable. Yep, you're back again. I see you. Hey, we finally got something that sucks. The worst mythic in the set. Still is cool artwork, though. We got a bad mythic. Got to throw some counterbalance to this ridiculous money tree. Ugh. I feel like just this video alone... Oh, Foil Jace's Phantasm. That's a really, Oh, it's downshifted. I thought it was an uncommon from M13. I feel like just videos like this alone, like, people move... Like, it moves the market on Iconic Masters. Sphinx from M12 and M13. Terrible. All right, two packs left. I'm done. Congratulations, Nathan. Congratulations on making money. That's this is this was an insanity. What night of the rolling quarry and uh, the bondkin? Nobody cares. So, uh, anyways, congratulations. Thank you, Nathan, for being a patron and the loyalty and support, sir. I really appreciate the kindness. And uh, path of bravery ending with a tormenting voice. Hope you enjoyed yourself in the Thunderdome. Seriously, congratulations. Holy smokes, what an opening video. Congratulations on the profit, man. You guys have a great day. And as always, appreciate the support, the kind words, and the honor and privilege of entertaining everybody.